Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I have a real life example of how to perform a complex data transformation on your data set. For example, in this data set that I have of uh, the exchange rates, I have from column, I have to column, and then I have the date over here in the row. And then I have some columns over here which have end of the month and average as well. So in this particular scenario, I want to get rid of EOM and average over here for all the months and only keep the uh, current column over here. Right now, this particular table is unusable. We cannot use this table unless we transform the data into something like this. So wherein I have the from column, I have to column, I have date and I have exchange rate. So before I start this tutorial, I want to let you know guys that there is a lot of effort that goes on in creating these tutorials which help in solving your real life issues while you're working. So please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing my channel and also drop in a comment to let me know if my tutorials are helping you guys. Let's jump into Power BI. So and first thing I will do here is let's import the data into the BI. I'm going to select the sheet one over here and click on transform data. So let us first quickly analyze step by step as to how we can clean this particular data and get this into the right format. So the first thing that you see over here is there are some null values over here at the top. So there are one, two, three, four rows. So let's quickly go to uh, remove rows, remove top rows and enter four over here and then click on OK. So all the blank rows which were there in the beginning have now been removed. Now uh, our next step is basically to get rid of the EOM and average columns and only keep the current columns. So how can we do that? Right now uh, we don't know in which column uh, we have the EOM and average so it becomes a little difficult to sort of do that. So now what we will do is we will uh, promote the headers over here. So let's click on use first row as headers over here. And now what we can do is we now have to remove the EOM and average columns from here. So what I will do is I'm going to select these two columns over here, right click them and then click on unpivot other columns. So this will basically result in transforming the data something like this. It's transposing the data from columns to rows and now we only need to keep the current column over here. So I'm going to come to attribute over here and type in CRR in the column over here. So I'm just doing a wild search on this particular column for CRR and then selecting these values only. So now what I will do is I'm going to select these two columns over here and go back to transform and then select pivot column. So once you've done that, you can select the value column over here, go to advanced options and select don't aggregate and then click on OK. So now we've been successful in removing the other columns that we had except for the CRR entity, which is the current column. And then uh, now what we can do is that we can come over here and just sort this by ascending so that we have all of our dates at the beginning over here. So once you have all the dates in the uh, first row over here, we can go back to the home tab. So now it's time for us to promote these dates as the headers. So let's click on use first row as headers. So now you will see that we have from, we have to, and then we have dates in these particular columns as the headers. We've still not solved the entire thing, but it's now time for us to transpose the dates into the rows. So now what we can do is select these two columns over here right click and select unpivot other columns. So the moment you do that, you will see all the dates here appearing as the column and then the values here appearing in the value column and these are the exchange rates. So if you look at the data set now, we have from column, the currency from which we want to convert from and then we have two column. This is the column which we want to convert the currency to and then I have the date column over here. I have all the dates appearing in this particular column and then likewise I have the values of that particular exchange rate as well. So now I can simply come over here and rename this particular column to date and then we can rename this particular uh, column to exchange rate. And now let's close and apply this particular transformation over here and let's go back to our data set and you will see the data set something like this and what we need to do is change the data type from text to date so that it recognizes that this is a date format and it will help you when you are doing a lookup or when you are doing some sort of a join 
on the data set to fetch the right exchange rates against that particular currency. So that's it guys, this was the example of a real life scenario uh, on how to transform a complex data set and make it usable. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, you learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.